they let you in to their group okay which is another and i had to do another two reviews and then after that i actually trained the class you're gonna hold it tight here okay and now you have here see two straps as this look i don't have a lot of of, of attachment points for here here yeah. it's minimum it's just for because what we're just going to carry the stuff we're going to need to do anchoring and basically sar repelling basic stuff that fell just don't do anything okay take your time take a breath and then assess your situation look of your palette of techniques and we're going to go through them we're going to learn them you know and then you make a decision what is it that I'm going to do next? If you are in a team, you're going to talk to your leader. He is the one that's going to clear you. So, we're going to... This one, almost flat, right? And this one, more aggressive. Okay? And make sure that you really hit it with those front nails, right? That's your safety at the end of the day. And then, once you hit it, then you lower it, all of them, okay? So always hit them first. I've seen a lot of people just hitting and going. No, you always want to land with all your spikes in. So you hit it and then you lower it, okay? And you see that it's really firm and hard that's also your sign and you get your size of your butts there German have bigger butts okay there you go look at that okay. to do all the thinking in the world okay just to rest all right something like him like a little plastic thing you know you are much for better. me to come up and set up this 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 anchor the seat anchor right now he's there wait wait give me some rope Eric, give me some rope. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it in. So now he's gonna come up, and this is called be lane, okay? Uh, on the way up, and he's gonna start coming up, and I'm just gonna keep the rope, take all the slack away, okay? That's basically what I'm doing, right? And keeping it tight, why? Because if he falls right now, I got him right here, okay? And and also with this hand here, typically we 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 grab it on this side here too, okay? something like this so basically I'm bringing him in right and I'm always pulling the cord mm -hmm. this is called a delaying okay until he is really safe and he's coming up look at this he's coming up he's coming up remember that anchor I had here okay really steep okay now come up continue continue and now he's gonna sit and the first thing I'm gonna do which I should have done with myself I'm gonna pick one of those slings here. I'm attached to it, right? But I'm gonna pick one of those slings here. We are comfortable, we are safe, we have nowhere to go, but this is the protocol, okay? You're gonna basically get one little sling like this, and we're gonna tie this thing to the, exact. you got it. There we go, yes. I attach this thing too tight. And you take time, okay? There is no rush. We are safe here. But before we start having fun or eating or drinking, because why? You don't know if you're on your back, Bill. Listen to this. On your back here, there may be an avalanche coming. There may be a, 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 a big rock coming. So in, it's all awesome, beautiful here. And two seconds later, we may be all thrown down, you know? So what are we gonna do? We are gonna set up a little anchor here on our on our ice axle inside i'm already connected and now he's gonna connect his carabiner and now we are safe for the moment i mean is this the most safe way no, no. Safe, you know. the most safe way i'm gonna show you next is when we add to this situation a dead man's anchor here behind or a t anchor that is the if you're gonna really if i'm gonna haul like belay a whole group of people up and I'm the leader, I'm going to come, I'm going to do this sit, and I'm going to put a really good anchor here. But right now, we can really relax, right? Because I think and it's two feet, they recommend, okay? You dig this little. And this snow is just perfect for that, it's very easy. Sometimes when you have hard snow, you want to use another technique, which is either a, a nice uh, snow anchor or a, a real ice anchor. 
So now we made that little hole, right? The next thing I want to do, remember this vertical slide? I'm going to dig it a little bit more, but not too much, okay? And mostly to the front, okay? Not in the back. I'm going to just cut the slide here on the, on the front side. Okay? There you go. That's all you need. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to pick our eggs. Forget about this, this loop here. You're not going to play. But, but what we're going to do now, we're going to pick. Remember our long sling here? They're now then. So this is why we really need this thing here. Okay. So look, what I'm going to do with this here. The, the, it's, this is like a 70 centimeters, I don't know. And now I'm gonna do a, a cloth hitch on my eye X right at the middle, okay? How do we do that? It's very simple. You just pick a lace here, you pull it in, right? And you hang it tight. Very simple, okay? Not, a, not rocket science. And you see why it has to be big, you're gonna see. Now that we got that, I'm gonna get my X, right? In the middle, you want to have this thing right in the middle, right on this edge here. And we are going to basically set this guy in right in the middle. And now you're going to really stick it in. Put good weight. Some people say you should step on it. I'm not going to do because believe me, this is going to be so hard to get out in a minute. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pack it, right? All this snow back in and you're gonna pack this thing as deep as you can okay never too much okay but believe me you won't believe how hard to this is so solid you can put five ten people on this on this rope here and this is not gonna go anywhere so you not always need those ice those big snow uh, anchors they have some aluminium ones or you need the ice axe and all that fancy stuff this is already very good. And now here, that we have our sling out again, we want to cover a little bit of this front part here too. So there you go. Now, this thing, not in this direction. Anchors are always tied to the, uh, to the direction of the load. Very important. Sometimes we make T's, uh, 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 he knows that. You know, we anchor twice so that we hold it in the middle. So when you're belaying or repelling, you can move it. Your load once is here, once is there. Otherwise, it will flip out. In this case, it's more for safety. So now that I got this here, I'm going to go back here to my, to my anchor. I'm going to put what we typically do. We do a little notch here. Okay. One or two. I'm going to do two just to strengthen it, to kind of make it uniform. See here? Now I'm going to attach a carabiner to this part here. I'm going to pick, remember those slings? Everybody ha used, had to have one. I'm going to attach that sling in. Now I'm going to go back to my original anchor position. Right? I'm going to do it on this side so you guys can see it from there. Right? And now I'm going to basically be attaching me. There is 10 million ways of doing that. If my partner was here now, right, he will be sitting here. He will be pulling from that side. And believe me, you can come now and try to pull this thing away. You cannot move this thing. This can ha handle 10 people hanging on this rope. Okay, totally exposed. It's going nowhere. So, if you know you're gonna be hauling a lot of people you have an emergency someone fell on a crevasse you don't know how much it's gonna take you're gonna sit here for an hour you're so tired you're meditating you're already you know like those guys in Everest that are just giving up at 14,000 feet the Sherpas they will at least do that so that there is a chance that this guy his body is just not gonna roll down the hill and someone may come up next day you know that is your your minimum you know and all you needed to do this it's already gear you already had remember the ice axe you already had you just had to really bring that little long sling and then want to tie it you here this one could even have been gone directly here right unnecessary 
but that's what you call it a T anchor or a dead man, dead man you know anchor. anchor why because it's like that there right so to get this out and you leave this too long too it gets harder you oh, know please. you may need another axe to an dig block. it out yeah. so be also careful you know what you wish for and hold it in the air as high as possible okay because now I'm already also sliding think about it I'm already kind of going there and I want to stretch my arms first why because I don't want any of this to hit my face okay and now my goal is to bring this down while I go down and have this right on my on my on my here on my yeah. chest right but look That it will be still here I wouldn't get any grip here here is just like a little ankle I can even move it further in okay now I move a little bit more I move a little bit more I get another one a little bit more okay and now when I feel like my foot I analyze why did I slide that I'm still holding sorry I'm I was talking here I get I figured out I'm stable this rocks okay I can it's okay for me to stand up my injuries are not too bad whatever it is you know my backpack is fixed i didn't lose all my gear get yourself all calm and and packed together and you're still holding i'm just talking here with my hands but you're still holding and now you're gonna make the last move where you're gonna stick your axe really hard right and that's now you're gonna come up you're gonna come here make yourself again a full normal ledge right and you're gonna get thing you're gonna come up and the next thing what do you do no guys you say thank you to you're god right drink that beer. you didn't die you didn't slide the whole thing you say lord thank you thank you thank you for sending me cranky roll and teaching me this and then you're gonna drink a beer and call yes okay you got that so it's it sounds complicated but these things happen really really quickly yeah. rope goes in between our legs. Right? Yes. And you want to be holding onto the rope in front of you or not no. even holding it? No, just don't hold it. Don't hold it, okay. Just leave it under your legs. Got it. Keep going up. Record you a little bit. Good job, Jing. Good job, you're doing great. It's just still here. I shouldn't be doing this, I know. Good job, Bill. Yeah, from here on, you can go regular, Bill. Very good, guys. Good job, Jing. All right. You guys are awesome. Okay, Jing. Regular leg, regular climbing technique. There you go. Twi yes. Perfect. Good job, guys. Take a little rest now. See? It's a very safe technique but it's it takes a big toll going up or going down it is hard work but it's very safe so right. thumb down twist mm -hmm. and then grab and then you'll have the u with the back through there you go awesome and then that's your munter and it flips and then you know it's right if it you flips can use it to repel you see how yeah. he can in one direction he can give rope and yeah this is no this is me coming no, down that's, that's coming down, down. Okay. he's flip it over repelling yeah and that's me up. belaying, belaying someone else basically bringing them in and making sure that the cord is 
Yeah. And that's how you test that your munter's correct. Yes. Because it'll flip. Like it will that. flip. If it doesn't flip, you. There you go. One, it's it's you, re, you if you, you have the rope going in to the anchor, then you grab this, and kind of do the same motion, and. Uh, now you got your two you, loops. And then you got your two loops, and now I'm cloved in. And now, if I wanted to, I could, and I wanted to be closer, and I could, I could get up closer to the anchor. If I wanted to get farther away, I could come out here and work or whatever. And it's still, that's what's nice about the clove hitch. See guys, the basic principle of all, all rappelling, all rappelling mechanism is to create friction, mm. okay? So there is a dozens of ways, figure eight, ATC, all these knots to create friction. And then in controlled way, give in, you know? If you are going down or if you some bringing someone up, you bring in the rope, they can fall. So you wanna, that slack of rope you brought in, you also wanna take it out. So you, all these mechanisms is to take, basically introduce friction. Sometimes if you're very heavy, you have a lot of people on the rope, you need, right? They do two or three loops of these. You know. Like when we were using our axes, we had them in our arm, right? The same way. And now you got your axe again. You're gonna wanna, uh, look at here, uh, Eric. You wanna again swing it as high as possible. And while you're sliding, you wanna again move it far away from your head. If the head was on the side, your face is gonna be looking the other direction, right? And then once you start sliding, very, very important because, like you said, in the real world, you will have crampons. What can crampons do? Oh, they can break it. A lot of people even teach you to use the crampons to self-arrest. No, no, no. What happens with self-arrest with crampons is this. Look, you're coming down, you're sliding, you're out of control, whatever position, and now the crampons get the firm hit, you can't, can't and then you basically, you flip. You can't Man, you're it. gonna be flipping when you see in those big mountains, big disasters, you see people flipping like, like crazy is because they, not because of their initial slide or that they couldn't stop yeah, themselves it's because their crampons got in the way and why that crampon and you're flying that thing is hitting your own legs it's going through your veins you are bleeding to death it's hitting your head i mean the things i've seen you know when you see okay okay now this was an idea why because i really wanted this ice axe to be out right on my chest okay i'm looking to the other side and again also i didn't lift my feet when i was sliding this is the position you want to have while you're sliding and when you stop once you stop you're safe boom boom you do your hitting get your crampons really in even if you don't have crampons okay and now you can again do one step in two steps i mean if you're in a rope you, you have to check with your leader, calm yourself down, you know, get the axe in, and now you already had your thing there, make yourself the little ledge that we talk about, and you're good to go. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and I forgot the feet. So, okay, and you just, well, that was kind of ridiculous, right? But, you guys got the, and you basically, Cut. here. You